honestly, I've been an avid editor forever. But uh, when I moved to Sesame, they were cutting on Final Cut 7. And now they're starting to incorporate some uh, Premiere. There's another editor who um, works alongside me um, at a different facility, and he's on Avid. But when people ask me what NLE should I be learning, I always say After Effects. Because there's, uh, it's still specialized enough that there's a lot of demand for it. And um, in terms of the Sesame work, yeah, it's, uh, there's so much that can be healed or um, replaced with After Effects. Like certain characters perform magic and um, other moments are, the, the, they have to be keyed out and replace the backgrounds. But I think as important as it is, at least in this type of work, to know Avid or another NLE, you really have to have the supporting um, visual effects program to be able to, to complete whatever the task is. If, if I could jump in. Uh on House of Cards, which was cut on Final Cut Pro, um, they had one person, a, a specific assistant, who only did After Effects for all the editors. And primarily because there was so much, like about 80% of that show was stabilized. And often there was, re because it was shot, I guess, 5K, on, on the red, there was like all this real estate outside the frames, so the frames were often repositioned, and uh, often elements were added to the to the frame. So uh, I don't know After Effects. My assistant learned it and supplemented the work. And when the workload was too heavy or too complex, it was handed off to this one specific person whose only job was to take was to do that day in day out. So I think it's becoming very important. And also important to know within the Avid how to deal with the more complex, uh, you know, effects tools. Yeah, I, I agree. On Marco Polo, we also had a dedicated After Effects assistant to uh, just, or a VFX editor, just to, to handle all the visual effects. And uh, anything you can learn is to your benefit. I mean, I, I don't know After Effects either. I, we, I guess this kind of stuff that we're doing, we can have the luxury of having another department that can take care of these things, but anything you can do to sell yourself, you should, you should learn it just to have it. And After Effects is a program like Photoshop where I don't think you can ever really know all of it. I mean, the, depending on the work, you either specialize in keying or in particle effects or there's, it's very there's so deep. much. That's yeah. why people say, oh, I'm an After Effects guru. I'm like, are you? Because it's... <laughs> <laughs> The, the three-dimensional backgrounds, like for the, um, the cookie crummy pictures, that's done by a company called Magnetic Dreams out of um, Nashville. And so they'll, I'll, I'll do a, like a, my own key with temporary backgrounds mm -hmm. to make sure that we're achieving what the director is hoping for, but then... And they're provided to you, like temp ones as yep, well? Yep, from that, from that team, and then we'll, um, while we're in the control room, I'll start making gentle moves with them, and... Um, providing those backgrounds for the performers to play against because they're looking into a monitor seeing what uh, will be the, the final so they're able to interact within the environment or a three-dimensional character that doesn't exist right and sometimes um, on keys if a character like Cookie Monster is blue he has to be shot on a green screen but someone else who has green in them would have to be shot on blue so they'll have to perform against uh, previous takes with the other characters in order to create oh, like, one like performance when say when you're cutting a, a phone call maybe yeah. between two characters one's shot yeah, earlier in the shot. they're in the same shot and then we'll we'll play it back and they'll perform just right at th another take just right. like yep. switch the green screen to a blue screen yeah yeah okay. but but most of um the keying work with celebrities and anything that's not a three-dimensional background it's me yeah right. i end up spending a good third of my year in uh, after effects <laughs>